Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great, and we, my friends, are playing some more Star Wars Force Arena. Now, as you can clearly see, we've just gone and got a couple of stuff and things. So we're going to go get these coins. Now, I purposely loaded up on the title screens so that you would see that pop up and stuff. But the new event is still continuing, and we're going to continue to play so oh didn't mean to click that my friends now let's go ahead and get on with the day now obviously logging in we do have Jin as the seven day reward right now which is going to be pretty damn cool and tomorrow is going to be the best reward of things now getting the half price booster on the booster packs that is so good to me and like the reason why is because I really love opening car packs really, really quickly. And I don't really want to go and spend like £5 for the 7-day booster or anything. Because at the moment, the game is giving quite a lot of free boosters away. So I don't really see the point in buying them. But hey, if you do, then by all means go and buy them. Um, but I think the game is giving away enough free ones right now. So... I don't really see the need in it because they're trying to get us hooked on getting those card packs open a lot quicker, which is quite a good thing. Um, if you play the game like crazy, like a lot, like grind it out like crazy, having the bronze packs open up in an hour and a half, that is a lot less than three hours. So, you know, obviously pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a legendary right now. Um... I'm going to trade away this guy because I, I'm not expecting to use him at all. Like, look, kills, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just not expecting to use him. So let's just trade him away and we'll, hopefully we're going to finally get that Luke Skywalker. Oh, for God's sake, I've already traded this guy. Literally, I traded this guy away last night and I got the guy that we just got, like, that we just traded. So I've literally traded this guy for the other guy and then the other guy for this guy. I'm 3,000 credits down for the same hero. Like, oh, my God. Okay. Maybe one day, guys, we will get a second Luke Skywalker. But today is not the day. So let's just go and jump into a battle. So hopefully we're going to be able to take a couple of wins. Now, I am still hardcore tier four i haven't really been able to grind out on the game as much as i would like to at the moment um because i've been a little bit busy over the last couple of days but i have still been playing a little bit and still doing some good stuff and things but i just haven't really been grinding like i was the first couple of days um i will be playing a lot more over the next couple of days because of obviously my schedule has died down a little bit i have a lot more time to play so hopefully one day maybe in on this galaxy we're gonna be able to get into a battle but you know they they once told me in a galaxy far far away there was a man that battled once and he got destroyed quite badly. But then he continued to practice and he found himself another battle. It was discovered that Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia were going to join forces and create the ultimate rebel alliance to take out that evil empire. Now, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is fiction. But find out live right here right now and maybe we can just shut up talking complete and utter nonsense so um well leia's just kind of sent all of her troops down the middle and hasn't really okay we're, we're just gonna like quickly come in and attack over here because that guy's not defending over here so let's just go ahead and quickly get in and wreck some serious face over on this tower um, yeah, and I'm going to come down here, quickly go over here, and boom. So, we defended the tower over there, we're going to come over here and quickly survive. So, we defeated the tower, 
we defended the tower and we've survived so maybe just maybe that story was real my friends maybe in a galaxy far far away princess leia and luke skywalker wrecked some serious face um let's go back up this girl over here um come on drop drop down a good troop for me to steal um like that one right there oh yeah baby that's what i'm talking about welcome to the battle obi-wan kenobi oh yeah that that's exactly what i've been waiting for guys and now we're just gonna wreck the whole entire base because my friends you just can't beat me now as you can see having obi-wan kenobi to steal a tank oh it, it's beautiful guys it's absolutely beautiful you really can't steal a much better than one of the tanks like you really can't um and to be honest it, that's why i really love obi-wan Ken or ben kenobi because he is just so so strong and look at that guys we're gonna take out those double uh, x-wing strikes gonna take out those cannon right there and then i'm gonna take out the hero right there which is gonna let us get through and start taking on the tower and we, we've we've steamrolled it's game over there's no way they can come back We've got two tanks in the way. We've got tons of troops. We've just steamrolled their entire face. So the tales of a man far, far away in a galaxy unknown with his sister, Leia, is true. They wrecked face. So <laughs> I, I, I just don't know, guys. I'm feeling really hyper today. So... If you've enjoyed the video so far, then make sure you hit that like button, guys. Like, if, if you like it, it shows some support for the channel. It's going to help us grow. It's going to help us post more videos. Because, obviously, the more of you that watch it, the more we're going to post. So, I really hope that you're enjoying it. Obviously, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe. And we're going to continue to look on another galaxy for another 2v2. Now... As I said in the previous videos, now I know a lot of you out there really enjoy the 1v1s. Wow, that was actually pretty quick. I quite like that. I know a lot of you really enjoy 1v1s, but I prefer the 2v2, as you can see. That's so much more entertaining for me than it is fighting a 1v1. I find the 1v1s very slow, and people don't really attack too much in the 1v1s. They kind of wait for the other person to attack, and then they counter-attack. Whereas in the 2v2s, it's just kind of like balls to the wall let's rock it with our socks you know like rock out with your socks out kind of deal you know um we don't have ben so we're just gonna have to come in with this now he's gonna stun me what yeah get out of here you're not stunning me my friend get out of my face um and i'm gonna drop these down over here and Oh, an eighty eighty. Hello. That's interesting, my friend. What are we doing? Get out of here. What? Like, seriously? Let's drop down this Wookiee Warrior in front because then he's going to be able to tank some tons of damage. And we're going to get in on this tower really quickly. Now, look at this, guys. We're going to be able to do a ton of tower damage right now. We're going to die, but we did do a good amount. Well we've done a bad amount of tower damage actually um but it's okay we're gonna continue to do some good stuff and things now i don't really know what this guy's doing over here let me just go ahead and do this real quick because they've both gone over to the opposite side um i'm literally just gonna charge in and take out this tower um i'm gonna focus on this tower right here now i am gonna die but I'm going to get a ton of tower damage right now. Hopefully my teammate is going to be able to defend over there on the other tower. And I'm going to have to rush back over here. Um, here we go. Let oh no, that was a big mistake, guys. Wow, that was a huge mistake. My friend's not being able to defend the tower either. Wow. Yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. Now, unfortunately... 
we we played a big mistake. Um, I kind of thought that I was going to be able to push that tower as well as um, defend um, the thing. But I kind of forgot that they had the AT-80. Um, and the AT-80 absolutely wrecks. Um, really does a lot of damage, the AT-80. But it's okay. We've got Ben Kenobi on the field. And now we're going to push in very hard and very fast. We're going to take out that tower. Um... We're going to take this tower. Oh, God. Wow, they've got so many crowd control skills. Um, they have got a lot of crowd control skills. So, I don't think we're actually going to be able... No, 100% we're not going to be able to come back from this at all, guys. No way, no shape, no form, no nothing. We're, we're literally just going to have to try our absolute best to quickly get in and do a ton of damage. Um, if we can quickly get up there, like the teammate can go over on the other side would be really nice. No, not enough time. Not enough time. Good game. Um, sometimes it works like that, guys. You can't always get what you want. We made a mistake going and pushing in on the other side. I kind of thought that we were going to be okay, but their team... Like, that guy was actually very good at defending. Um, he defended our push really nicely. Um, I was thinking that... Even though they had the defensive turret there, um, I thought my troops were going to be able to take care of the turret and then take care of the hero, and we were going to take that tower. But unfortunately, because he has those stun skills, I believe he's got two stun skills, um, which obviously makes it so that he, he's wrecked the entire uh, row of troops. Um, but hey, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Unfortunately, I think if Cassian could put more pressure on, I think we would have been able to take that the take it. But because of the fact that we both got lost towers at consecutive intervals, you know, um, there's not really much I could have done. The biggest thing with Luke Skywalker is you have to stay aggressive. You can't really play passive, or you can play passive, but he's not as good playing passive as he is playing aggressive. Um, so you kind of need to hope that your teammate has a strong defense, because while you're attacking the towers, your teammate is going to defend. Um, but it kind of looked like Cassian was to kind of getting even battles to overrun in his fights and then with me I was just kind of doing what Luke Skywalker does and suicide in the towers um so we're gonna go for Ben Kenobi here and we're gonna con like look this guy they're, go they're completely ignoring me they're looking for a double push guys so I'm gonna go ahead and push this tower like look at this guys I'm gonna get a ton of damage right now um and then I'm gonna go and quickly pick up this health pack and I'm gonna continue to put some big pressure on this tower now obviously i'm gonna die but look at all the troops that i've got coming up into him that tower is done there's no way he can defend it like absolutely no way he can defend that push so i'm now gonna quickly come over here and help defend against the at80 now the at80 is done we're gonna be coming in over here like look at this guys we're gonna make another heavy push rocket troopers now then they're not really going to be able to do too much um we're going to have to pull back and defend over here and he's got an AT-80 -AT coming down on the far top side so we're going to have to go and counter that okay it's not an AT-80 -AT, it's just a sniper um okay so that's that done over there like I don't really know what my teammate's doing um because he's Okay, nice, okay, he's, he's actually managed to defend the push, so that's cool. Let's come over here, and to be honest, I'm thinking I'm going to need to use Ben Kenobi again. Um, let's see if we can see what's going on up here. Uh, okay, I, I think I'm just going to send like a sneaky uh, troop up there. There you go, there's the at, -AT so let's go ahead and drop down this over here and we'll also drop down this tank here he's going to come in here heavy here ideally i would have wanted the ben kenobi in the middle lines over there to be able to take that tank but it's not seeming like we're going to be able to 
Um, so let's just go put down a Wookiee Warrior. And we're going to let that tank take the damage from the tower. And then we're going to charge in. There it is. Now let's go charge in and we'll put down these troops. And now we're going to go put down some heavy damage on this tower. Drop down these troops as well. That tower's done. Absolutely done. No chance in hell they were going to be able to stop that damage. Um, and that's exactly what we were waiting for. We were looking for that suicide. So let's just quickly come up here and see if we can get rid of these troops over here. Um, and we're going to have to drop down our tank ourselves. So let's drop down the tank over here and we're going to charge in on the tank over here and we're going to start doing some serious work over there. Um, we're going to have to pull back. Let's go get some health. Um, and we're going to drop down the bomber uh, because, or the grenada because the grenada is a really good card, guys. People really underestimate him, but because he does so much AoE damage, he's actually really strong against the AT-ATs as well. So the AT-ATs with the um, flamethrowers, that's damage right there. That is tons of damage right there. Um, you really can't... Um, get away from it um don't know what's over here it's just a sniper so let's go ahead and drop down ben kenobi over here and we're gonna see if we can transform anyone into my troops but it doesn't look like we're going to too much damage in the back lines that we did get taken out right there but that's fine we're gonna take the victory and that's all that matters my friends doing some good stuff and things in a galaxy far far away so if you have enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like make sure you hit that subscribe we're gonna give my friend a little like there even though it was me that took the towers he's probably oh excuse me he's probably not gonna return the favor which he's not because look at him so we're gonna continue to do some good stuff and things may the force be with you or, in my case, may the stuff and things be with you. We're going to open up this last pack. And that's going to be the end of the video, guys. So I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I know I've already said it, but please make sure you hit that subscribe. And make sure you hit that like for me. Because if you're new, I would love you to come back and watch some more videos. So in the meantime, I'm going to go. And I shall see you in the next one. Peace on the streets.